paving the way for future generations of highly energy efficient and low carbon emission computers and data centers IBM research will build a new kind of water-cooled supercomputer in a collaborative effort with ETH Zurich the world-famous science and technology university that has produced more than 20 Nobel laureates the supercomputer, nicknamed Aquazar, will consist of two IBM Blade Center servers in one rack using both Cell and Intel processors, and will have a peak performance of about 10 teraflops. Aquazar is expected to lower its carbon footprint by up to 85% during operation, which would save up to 30 tons of carbon dioxide emissions per year, compared to a similar system with today's cooling technologies. IBM expects that this will be its first step in achieving a new record for grams of carbon dioxide per megaflop for a supercomputer. Delivering on its name, Aquazar will use water instead of air as its coolant to capture and transport the heat. Water is both 4,000 times more efficient than air and has superior heat transporting properties. Using powerful chip level water coolers, the distilled water does not need to be chilled to low temperatures and can be kept at about 60 degrees Celsius to cool the chips below the maximally allowed 85 degrees Celsius. Thereby the system saves dramatically on cooling energy and at the same time obtains high grade waste heat which can be directly reused. Aquazar will in part be employed by the Computational Science and Engineering Lab of the Computer Science Department at ETH Zurich. The project is part of IBM's first-of-a-kind program, or FOLK, which engages IBM's scientists with clients to explore and pilot emerging technologies that address real-world business problems. This is Jeff Gluck reporting.